Hello, and welcome back to the Tyler Moore East, where today we're going to be finishing off downtown. There's just a little corner left uh, for us to fill in. We're in dire need of residential right now, so we'll mostly be building homes, but we're also going to be finishing off Main Street, that adorable little town with the streetcar um, that just looks like a, a little Dickens village. Um, it will it will warm the cockles of your heart to see this adorable little village completed. Um, we are uh, going to be looking around downtown um, and we'll see what else we can find here today in the Tyler Moore East. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm having a great time making these. Um, we have a little bit of a special uh, word from our sponsor, the Faruqi Department Store, later in the episode, so stay tuned for that. Um, it, it might uh, give you a heads up on uh, what you need to go out and, and look for uh, to buy next in your, uh, your, your home um, furnishings fulfillment. Uh, more about that later. Um, but for now, we're going to get on with uh, doing a bit of building out of the neighborhood in a sped up mode so I don't take up too much of your time. Just a quick episode today. So let's get to it. So we only have this little library to start out with. I'm going to keep it along the lines of this style of architecture and about this scale as well. Um, this is a very human scaled street. Um, Pistoria itself as a city is a much smaller city than uh, what you normally see in the Tyler Moore. Um, it is not a gigantic uh, mega city. It's just um, as I said, it's it's more like a mid-sized um, American city. It's it's nothing um, too impressive, but that's kind of the beauty of it because these mid-sized towns go so unappreciated or underappreciated, uh, mostly, but they really serve a very important role in our society and in our choices of where to go live. A lot of people don't like the big city, and a lot of people who don't like the big city also don't want to live out on the farm. Small cities and mid-sized cities really offer a great in-between. Um, and here where I'm from, in Ontario, most of the cities that we have are mid-sized or smaller cities. Uh, we don't have a lot of big cities except for those in the greater Toronto area, um, and Ottawa, which is really only big because it's a federal uh, capital. So people from across the country live there. Um, but uh, here in Pistoria, we are not a capital of anything. Um, the county seat here is in Martha's Point, which is further upriver. Uh, we'll get to see that in a little, late, little later in another episode. Um, but Pistoria, I suppose you could say it's a business capital of the Tyler Moore East because it is definitely the biggest city in the Tyler Moore East and it definitely has the largest amount of headquarters um, though there is quite a bit of um, you know head officeness in the county seat of Martha's Point um, but this uh, so far this quiet human scaled main street uh, where people can just stroll up and down with a little uh, paper envelope of warm roasted chestnuts from the corner vendor um, or a, a helium balloon that can last below freezing um, can can just quietly walk up and down this lovely street and window shop peer in the big storefront windows at the beautiful window displays that the store shopkeepers so lovingly and carefully put out um, whenever they get the chance to redo their windows. Hopefully it's frequently enough to bring people down to the core to see um, what these beautiful little local shops have to offer. Great for transit. We've got three um, stops, one at the north end, one in the center, and one at the south end of the, the street. So 
easy to run up and down the street uh, with all of your parcels. When you've got your arms full, just hop on a PCC streetcar and take a cushy ride up um, to your next stop. Uh, lots of parking, lots of accessible parking, um, but tucked in behind the businesses on an alleyway um, that will have very little traffic um, and a nice quiet space for um, you know, little street festivals and things like that too. You won't have to shut down the streetcar lines. You can hold street festivals in the laneways behind the businesses, uh, providing more space for the neighborhood to socialize and, and gather in. Um, on this end of the blocks, it's right up against that main road that comes down from the highway um, interchange. So we're doing some very uh, for Pistoria, very high density um, development just to sort of build uh, a bit of a sound barrier wall um, going, you know, across this, this big boulevard, this avenue here with all the um, highway traffic coming off into downtown Pistoria. We don't want the people living back here to have to listen to all of that. So we'll put up a few, um, a few more commercial and, uh, and office buildings through here. A um, little pub with a nice little patio in back uh, will make it really dense back here because these are some older buildings. We can assume it was before, um, you know, light codes and whatnot for setbacks. So we'll, we'll plop in an older building that's a nice big square chunk to take up that block and add in some density for housing. Um, add a little corner shop down here, but just something a little dingy and forgotten in this quiet little space back here. Um, and now we we need to ramp up the population of the city a bit. We need more workers. Uh, we, we've been having a lot of issues with industrial supply between um, extractors not having enough resources and factories not having enough resources and uh, commercial stores not having enough goods. So we need more industrial, but for more industrial, we need more workers. <laughs> we, you know, it's the cycle, the vicious, vicious cycle of a city uh, that keeps it growing. And so we are filling in the last little bit of downtown with some more dense housing. That way we can get the population up a lot faster than if we continue expanding out a lower density um, out on the edges. We have this whole section here that's just waiting, ripe for development, um, and I haven't gotten around to it, so it's, it's definitely reached its maturity, um, and it is time to become a populated area. No more fields in downtown Pistoria. Um, some great apartment buildings here. Uh, really great shout out to all the wonderful creators on the workshop. You do so much work that keep the game so interesting. So always kudos to you. My hat's off. Um, great work for these lovely buildings. Um, I don't know that I'm using any vanilla buildings in this block, but um, if I am, you can always make sure to mention it in the comments below because uh, the more you comment and the more you like and subscribe the more this video goes out into the places where people who want to see it will get to see it um, without those likes and comments it just doesn't go anywhere because that's the way youtube works apparently i'm learning um, you know, so when everybody says, like and subscribe, like and subscribe, that's why. Uh, because if you don't, um, it's not going to go anywhere. Um, and uh, it's not that this needs to go anywhere. I'm happy just to have this all to myself if that's where it goes. Um, but it's those other people who I, I know are out there who want to watch this, who don't get to otherwise. So for their sake... It's, it's worth giving it a second of your time. Thank you if you do. And if you don't, thank you for watching this far anyway. You're about to get a very fun special treat in a moment. Um, just finishing off this block. 
couple more buildings in here. I'm going to fill in that last little gap. I think we're pretty much done with this block and done for another big episode. Um, just a quick one to keep you up to date on Pistoria. In the Tyler Moore East. Spring is coming soon, and you're going to want to enjoy it. That means you'll need something to sit on while making shapes out of the clouds. You'll need a table to serve that barbecue on, and you'll need something more comfortable in the ground if you plan to tan. That's why at Faruqi, we're putting all patio furniture on sale. That's right, in season and on sale. We've got folding lawn chairs that won't leave you in a pinch. Patio sets for two, four, eight or more. We have lounge chairs with cup holders, lounge chairs with wheels, lounge chairs with padding. We even have lounge chairs with Bluetooth capability for, uh, well, we don't really know what you'd use Bluetooth for on a lounge chair, but if you want them, we've got them. So hurry on over to the outdoor furnishings department on our fourth floor before these deals melt away with the snow. And there you have it, the Faruqi department store is getting ready for spring, which means the snow will melt someday. You will see the Tyler Moore East thaw. Trust me, the flowers will come out. Thank you again for joining me here. I hope to see you back soon in the Tyler Moore East or in the Tyler Moore. Thank you so much. Bye bye.